join us. Hey folks, welcome back to Clone Wars Thursday Throwbacks. It's good to be back here in June after taking May off to focus on my Phantom Menace daily videos, which was an absolute hoot, but it's kind of nice to be back um, just doing, you know, Clone Wars each week and then my Power of the Force Fridays, which will be up tomorrow as well. So we're looking at Boba Fett, young Boba, baby Boba, however you want to call him. Here is his card back. This is a this is a nice figure actually. It still holds up today, I think. Removable armor. He was number thirty-two in the line at the time. A couple other figures in the wave. We've got the got the Mandalorian warrior. R four P seventeen. We have Shark T and we have Embo. Pretty sure I've taken a look at Shark T and Embo. If I haven't done Shark T yet, she'll be on the list. So a little, little bio here. Haunted by the death of his father, Boba Fett continues his training as a bounty hunter. He learns the skills of his dangerous trade from the Trandoshan hunter Bosk and the ruthless Aura Singh. Jango's son is determined to follow in his father's footsteps as a powerful bounty hunter and is eager to fight the Jedi who defeated his father. So he has a whole story arc of Boba looking to get his comeuppance against Mr. Mace Windu. So here he is, just focusing on the light a little bit more, there we go. So I do have him armoured up. I tend to display him with the armour, I just think it looks cool. Let's get that to stand up, there we go. So the animated likeness is quite good. Yeah, accessory wise he comes with his you know his father's X blasters which fit in the holsters really nice and snugly it's been they've been in there for a long time so they're a little bit tough to get out but yeah there we go there we go a little bit warped just from being in the holsters but that's all right I tend not to take them out of there Move the jetpack so we can get the other blaster pistol out as well. Probably probably nice to get them out actually, just to give them a little bit of a refresh and set them back down again. And we have the jetpack. Which is, you know, it's a slightly smaller version of what we've seen. Um, similar to, well, it's, it's Clone Wars animated style. I think Pre Vizsla has the same jetpack. Same with the Mandalorians. In the animated style, and yeah, that that just sort of pegs into the backpack there, into the armor. So it's almost like a, it's almost like a training armor, I guess. This this sort of little outfit he's got, which is cool. It's nice. It's you know, it's reminiscent of classic Boba Fett. And it does simply just slip over the back. And you just get Sir Boba hanging out in his jumpsuit, which is cool. This is a nice look. Again, this guy hasn't been posed in a long time, so his joints are a little bit stiff, but it's all right. It's all good. There was another Boba Fett that was released, part of with the Slave One. He yeah, had sort of his sort of Camino training. Um, that he used to sort of, yeah, infiltrate the cadets in the cadet uniform. So like he's got the knee pads as well. So he's got the, obviously got the peg in the back, which you can still have the, have the jet pack on there just without the armor. But I don't know, I've had him displayed with the armor for so long, I might, I might switch it up a little bit and put him on the shelf like this. So he did just lose focus there for a moment, but... It still holds up, I think. This is a nice... I'd like to see a realistic version of, you know, slightly older Boba Fett, you know. As we got further into the Clone Wars, he had some new Bo Bounty Hunter armor, which is really damn cool. Um, and that was fantastic. I remember well, there was a leaked 
a leaked image of Boba Fett in his sort of classic armor, sort of early days of his classic armor in Clone Wars animation style. And whether that was legit or not, I'm not sure, but he was slated to have that shootout with Cad Bane sort of towards the end. And obviously, they had their rematch in the Book of Boba Fett. And canonically, I think we're just waiting for that story to be told. Because um, Cad Bane has... We've seen the elements of his shootout. He got, got a shot to the head from Boba. Boba got the dent in the helmet. It was uh, a fight to be settled at a later date. Little did we know it would be years years later when Boba and, and Cad Bane were both older gentlemen. So yeah, articulation-wise, because ball jointed head. He has those ball hinges in the shoulders. Ball hinges in the elbows. Just swivels the wrists. Uh, swivel at the upper torso there. He has hinges in the hips there. He has hinges in the knees and ball hinges in the ankles. So that's cool. Nicely articulated. Peg test time. Got the uh, KR figure stand here. If you want to know a little bit more about them, check out KessleRunHair.com. Nice little right up in our section there of our 3D printed Kessel Run action figure stands. So yeah, he stands well on that, on that nice three and three quarter scaled peg. It's pretty, pretty solid throughout. Let's give you one nice little look around. So here is Boba Fett from the Clone Wars, young Boba. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna retire the armor for a little bit. I'm just going to put that back in the uh, in the accessories box and just have him hanging out in his jumpsuit with his belt and stuff for a little while. I think it'll be cool. All right, folks, thank you for watching. It's nice to be back doing Clone Wars Thursday throwbacks. I hope you can join me again next week. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you again very soon. Till then, may the Force be with you always. Thank you.